Over the next five minutes, I'm going to show you five exercises that's going to help you achieve an effortless golf swing. I'm Sam Vickers, and I help golfers move their body better in the golf swings to help with consistency and the distance they hit the ball. These five exercises focus on the whole body, and they're going to help you move more effortlessly in the golf swing. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment on what your favourite exercise is. I'm going to start off with the hip 90-90, so we're going to be on the floor, front leg at 90 degrees, back leg at 90 degrees, try and create a little bit of a gap between the back knee and the front heel. We're going to then almost put our arms out in front, so we're supporting our upper body. From here, we're going to rock over into the same position without putting the arms down and feeling like the feet, or the, at least the heels, stay on the floor. So if I go from here, I turn, my feet stay on the floor, I keep upper body control, and I repeat to the other side. Next, we're going to go into the quadruped T-spine opener. So basically, you just go on all fours. Two options of doing this, you can either put your hand or your fingertips just to the back of the head, or you can have your arm out to the side, whichever feels like gives you the biggest stretch in and around the spine or the middle of the spine and the rib cage. So all you're gonna do, very simple, you're gonna reach under, turn and push in the opposite direction and then try and open up the chest, open up the shoulder, look to the hand as you go and repeat back down, feeling like you've rotated your rib cage, maximum turn, hold for a couple of seconds and repeat. Next, we're going to go into a staggered stance, hip hinge, holding a dumbbell in each hand, feet hip width apart, bring one foot roughly a foot behind so it can stay flat to the ground, chin tucked, back and shoulders straight, and then we're going to just create a hinge, pushing the bum backwards, middle of the shin, feel the stretch in the front of the leg, power it up to the top. Keep some control going down, and then drive up out of the ground into a tall position at the top. Next, we're going to go into the landmine stagger stance rotation. So start with the barbell in a landmine setup. We're going to pick it up with the hands in the middle, so you've got a nice, strong, stable grip. Start with your feet roughly hip width apart. Bring one foot, keeping it flat, a foot behind you, and then you're going to turn into your front hip, the leg that's basically forwards. And we're going to try and almost turn the hands to the pocket and then power it up out the ground. Feeling like you turn and load into this front hip turn in your chest, and then push up powerfully. And then repeat on the opposite leg. And then finally, dumbbell alternating bent over row. Start with a dumbbell in each hand, feet hip width apart. You're gonna hinge down, so your chest is facing the floor, head down, back straight. We're gonna then powerfully drive one dumbbell up. Keep a bit of control coming down so you don't lose your shape, and then alternate each side. Feeling like when you drive up, you're pulling your back uh, your elbow to your back pocket and then repeat on the opposite side. 